Hi, it's me, the Acris for fun. Are you suffering from those pesky green hair algae? Do you really want a real quick fix? Or maybe you're too new to the hobby to try and search for the real cause of algae. Or maybe you're just too lazy to properly take care of your aquascape. Then I just might have the best problem solver for you. So, okay, so this product will make your life easier. It's the Easy Life Algexit. Okay, this is not a sponsored video. <coughs> Easy Life. Okay, so in this bonsai scape that I've made, I've been pretty lax when it comes to the weekly maintenance. And who doesn't want their guppies and shrimps to be bursting full of food? So that's why even with the weekly water changes, CO2 and fertilization, if you overfeed or overstock your aquascape, it could still disturb the balance and still cause algae. Okay, now granted that the algae issues I had was not as bad as yours or what you think it might be. I think it was probably because I still continued with my basic weekly maintenance. And um, where did I go wrong? I overfed my fish and shrimps and I didn't properly siphon off the detritus that was um, building up under the moss and the carpet. Okay, so I could have continued with what I'm currently doing to correct the algae and went on with my life, but it could take months. And since I'm a YouTuber, you know damn straight that I'm gonna make a content out of it. So that's why I tried this product. It's an easy life product called Ag Ag Algexit. It's primarily used for green uh, It's primarily used for green algae. Says so right here. Against green algae. So that's why I used it for my green hair algae. Okay, so the picture I'm showing you, uh, the green hair algae may not be visible, but it's right there. Inside the moss, swirling and twirling inside, I can tell that there's some um, algae building up under the moss because I know what weeping moss is supposed to look like. Okay, so I used it for a month, so that's four, a total of four doses. The recommended dose by Easy Life is around 10 ml for every 100 liters of the total volume of your aquarium. This bonsai scape is an 80 liter aquarium so I used 8 mls for every dose. And I dosed it every water change so that's weekly for 4 weeks. Now I can hear you asking, when can I expect to see results? Well for me, I started seeing visible results in the second week mark. There is an actual and visible decrease in the amount of hair algae that was inside my aquascape. Hi guys, real quick. So if you'd like to support my channel, you can buy one of the hoodies that I've designed. It will be available on the description box below. Thank you. And I can also hear you asking, why don't I just manually pull it off with a fork or something? The thing is, because of the type of layout that I've made and the area where the algae is at, if you try and manually remove the hair algae, you'll end up pulling every whipping moss on that bonsai tree. I've tried it and if I continue doing it for, for a month, you won't see a canopy on that tree. So the active ingredient in this um, alg exit is from what I can see or from what my research have told me, it's salicylic acid. I'm familiar with salicylic acid being used on human soaps and um, treatments for acne but I haven't tried doing a deeper research when it comes to salicylic acid's some um, interaction with plants and algae. Okay another question that you might ask is will it be safe to dose when there's a bunch of livestock in the aquarium? So when I dosed my aquarium which is this bonsai aquascape I have a lot of cherry shrimps different varieties, a bunch of guppies, a bunch of guppy fries, other singlesses, and ram's horn snails. Ah, oh, ram's horn snails! Easy Life claims this to be harmless to fish, shrimps, mollusks, and plants. And with my personal experience, yes, I can tell that it is safe for your livestock and plants. None of my livestock were harmed during the dosing period for the entire month, so which is a good thing. 
Now, the key thing is try and solve the main issues first. Try and look for the main reason why the algae started blooming in the first place, which in my case was the obvious overfeeding of this aquarium because I loved my guppies and shrimps too much. Try and solve those main issues first, then you can use products like this. Because I was able to identify the main problem and the interventions to correct that problem, I was able to control the bloom of the green hair algae. Products like this will just help cement your win, basically, against algae. If you try and use products like this without properly resolving the main issue, yes, your algae problems might go in a few weeks or months, but I am pretty sure that you'll end up messing up your aquarium in the near future. Because like what Mr. Tombar said, majority if not all of the algae issues in our aquarium is because of the aquarists. Okay, so final take. Easy Life Algae Exit. Does it work? Yes, it worked for me. Might work for you. Will this be an excuse to be a lazy aquarist? No. That's why you need to subscribe to my channel because in this channel, I talk about aquascaping, fishcaping, and a bunch of general tips and guides on how to be a better aquarist. That's it for me. Bye.